initially i faced some issues because uh, i was on my own but being consistent and using the resources carefully uh, helped a lot so right. learn python keep your concepts strong in statistics have a basic knowledge of mathematics linear algebra so obviously have a look at the elements that are currently booming in the market and i don't think it matters where do you do your courses from the thing is you should have a basic knowledge of the things that you are mentioning in your resume if you have written something then you should know about it that is also very important as a data scientist you should be a good storyteller so good evening everyone so i am kumar vivekanand from cloudy ml's team so we have our guest uh, arju verma for the podcast so she was currently bsc graduate now she is working as associate data scientist as at entropic tech right arju yes okay so arju like uh, yes tell tell us more about yourself like your education background also and how you managed to switch to data domain yeah sure so hi everyone so i have done my bachelor's in mathematical sciences from delhi university so uh, basically i don't have like direct transition from uh, my bachelor's to data science i was already studying mathematics and statistics so i just uh, added a skill of learning python and that helped me getting this uh, internship and this job great, great so why data science like why did you choose data science because uh, uh, as i already told i was studying statistics and i like had a great interest in statistics and uh, luckily i had a cousin who guided me towards learning python which will uh, like basically end up in learning ended up in learning data analytics so data analytics uh, and statistics maths python all this combination worked out great for me as i was a math student already so yeah that was the reason i switched to data science great 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 so uh, being a data scientist what is your day to day for us like what you do basically can you tell us more about basically, that basically the company that i am currently working on is a market research company so currently uh, as we all know chat gpt and gemini and many llms are there in the market so currently my job is related to uh, using those and creating something creative for the team you know so if i'll tell you about my very recent task then it was uh, creating a survey chatbot so basically we are creating a survey using chat gpt and then i have created a chatbot which will uh, like talk to the user in a way uh, it will not feel like a survey it will talk uh, like it will do a small talk and then ask the questions one by one and collect the responses from the customer so these type of things i work on yeah okay okay so while you were learning or upskilling yourself okay so what are the challenges you faced uh actually i have never learned any computer language before python and uh, i was like it was locked down when i was learning it so youtube was uh, my only source where which i used to learn python so initially i faced some issues because uh, i was on my own but uh, like uh, being consistent and using the resources carefully uh, helped a lot yeah great 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 so you must have done so so many projects also right to showcase in the resume and to uh, boost your confidence so what I kind of projects you have done initially when i was learning itself then i did projects for myself like for my practice i had no idea that they can be used in resume as well so i was just doing them my for myself and they helped me yeah so basically i was in my third year when i was searching for internships and luckily i got a internship in entropic tech so i joined here in my third year as a intern then i got uh, promoted as a associate data scientist okay okay so you must have showcased them that i have upskilled up myself and now i'm yeah 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 yes great very good very good because you have used the opportunity and uh, when did you pass out pass out from college is that yes, yes. 2022 yes. 2022 at that point of time definitely data science domain was on boom and currently also it is on boom. so yeah. you have utilized the opportunity in a very yeah. intelligent yeah great 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 so suppose if i would uh, ask you how you would like to suggest to 
other data enthusiasts how, how they should learn how they should manage to get the job i guess so uh, when i learned and when i got this internship uh, as this is my first job it was very different uh, as someone should prepare right now because uh, things have changed we have llms and generative ai in the market so i'll suggest the first thing would be python obviously learn a language and i think in data science python is the best one so right. learn python keep your concepts strong in statistics uh, have a basic knowledge of mathematics linear algebra and obviously have a look at the elements that are currently booming in the market so that helps a lot yeah right 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 so uh, have you uh, like during your internship okay during your internship with the uh, entro okay. like, have you uh, have you uh, done any kind of projects which were related to data science or data analyst data analytics and uh, research i'll say so back then when i joined as a intern we were working on nlp side of features so we were building summarization and uh, uh, what's that uh, ngrams and things like that i was working on but i worked on 6 months on that nlp project but suddenly chat gpt came and the results were much better from chat gpt so obviously we switched to chat gpt after that so yeah that was yeah. The- yeah you using chat gpt i think everything can be done like coding yeah, yeah, yeah. coding help is also uh, you can get from chat gpt then someone yeah. working is an working in a non tech background also he can take help from chat gpt chat yeah, gpt is actually yeah you should be smart enough to ask good questions in the right, right. way this you should we should know how to give the prompt prompt engineering and that is the reason we have a course also like prompt engineering kind of course Yeah, yeah. Our learners, yeah, uh, because I guess this is the new market now. In data, right. like data science has evolved in two years a lot. Initially, right, right. you need to know modeling and stuff, but right now, I guess uh, knowing this LLM thing, transformers, and all these things help a lot in the market currently. Right, right. And until and unless we upskill and upgrade ourselves, we cannot sustain in the market. Right, exactly. Currently, it is completely a techy market. Yeah, right. yeah. there are okay. new models new things coming every day so we have to be updated right right so when you were given uh, giving the interviews related to data science or data analyst yeah what kind of questions were asked so as i told you i was in my third year only and it was my first internship so my manager basically focused on the things that i have written in my resume like some projects that i did back then and uh, statistics i'll say statistics and some uh, very common questions related to python like very basic questions and basically his uh, like uh, focus was on checking my skills how can i solve the problems using statistics so basic knowledge of statistics and python were uh, the questions that i was asked okay, okay. statistics and python because uh, statistics is, was your already the subject and then yes, python yes, you have yes. yeah okay 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 so currently uh, in current scenario we see so many learners preparing yeah. uh, or upskilling themselves and and, uh, and trying to enter the data domain okay yeah. so uh, well, pressures are fa- facing much challenges i see uh, yeah, okay. yeah. so i guess because there are so many people trying to enter this field right right and everybody is doing this time kind of course so how exactly they should do this uh, upskilling course uh, like how they should do or from where they should do a course like can you suggest s- such things like personally if i tell my uh, things like where i did i did uh, courses using udemy i did okay. data analytics boot camps and data analytics using python so mm-hmm. that i used and i don't think uh, it matters where do you do your courses from the thing is you should have a basic knowledge of the things that you are mentioning in your resume if you have written something then you should uh, know about it and uh, python obviously i'll say python and the new things that are coming you should be updated i think this could be enough to enter as a fresher like i think so yeah so mostly they should focus on hands on part like uh, they should work more on assignments yeah. or yeah. the case Project studies too. or projects Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right, right. And because see, there is so much fear in the freshers. Actually, mm-hmm. they feel like you know, I cannot enter the domain. 
Yeah. Okay. So that was the reason behind uh, asking this question. Okay. 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 Fine. So if I ask like, uh, uh, like while you work as a data scientist, you must be definitely having lot of data and to manage that data. Definitely. You should also work very hard. So yeah. while working hard, you must be coming across like stress. Right. How you manage that? Okay. So, uh, I don't have very, uh, motivating hobbies. I'll say I just yeah. Netflix and chill, see YouTube, sometimes go for a walk. And as I'm staying far from home, then sometimes talking to the parents also help. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. So basically, uh, what kind of projects you would like to suggest to learners currently those who are uh, learning? So what kind of projects they should do? From my experience, I will say, uh, try to focus on the things that are coming new in the market, like have a basic knowledge of uh, what is Gemini, chat GPT, and uh, there is Claude that have come recently. So have a knowledge of what these are, uh, which one is better, how the company that you're trying to give interview for, how that can use them. Like right now, I think this is very important. Because uh, not everyone is ready to build a new thing or train the models themselves. Everyone wants to leverage these LLMs that are present in the market. So one applying for a data scientist or data analyst should have a good knowledge how they can use these tools for the company that they are entering. Great, great, great. So <clears throat> if I ask like, uh, suppose someone is preparing. Yes. Okay. And uh, they know the skills of Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, SQL. Okay. But uh, they lack a kind of uh, presentation skills or communication skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. I so guess that is also very important as a data scientist. You should be a good storyteller. Yeah. That's also important. Yes. The storytelling yeah. is also a part of that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so definitely because of this, na, this is the reason sometimes people are very skillful, but they don't know how to put yeah, themselves yeah. or they, how to express themselves. That or is even, yeah. Yeah. So can you tell us more about like, what is the role of LinkedIn or resume mm -hmm. while you are hunting for a job? Okay. Uh, I guess LinkedIn helps a lot. If you are trying to give interview or try to enter any company, then uh, from my personal experience, I'll say try to message uh, the people that are currently working in the company. Sometimes that helps a lot. If you are trying to enter in the data science, try to find the data scientists already working in the company. Try to connect with them, try to talk with them. And if you are in touch with HR, then keep uh, asking them, like keep pinging them after some times to get some updates. I think that helped me a lot while i was searching for internship i used to whenever i'm applying in a company i used to message the hr all like always i used to do that and many times i got the revert so i think that is a very basic trick that everyone can use while applying through linkedin yeah right. and resume should resume i guess it should be very formal very minimalist and uh, it should have uh, the things that you actually know Mm -hmm. Like resume can be built using chat GPT also, but you mm -hmm. should only write things uh, which uh, you actually know, because if in interview, someone asks you something that is written in your uh, resume, but you don't know about that, then that is a very bad impression. Right. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Because whatever you mention, you should first of all know about it. Yes. Know about yes. It. Otherwise don't write it. <laughs> right because questions are definitely asked based on what you have written right exactly and, and later on once you are start the communication whatever you speak based on that the question follows yes yes that's true so how should someone prepare for the interview for the interview uh i guess that is uh, different for every company you are preparing for try to look at what company works on Okay. Try to have a knowledge what they are working on and how can you help as a data scientist there? How can you add a value there? 
so giving a personal touch for every interview will help because i guess underneath this layer uh, the things will be same for every company like python statistics uh, llms everything will be same just adding a few uh, things regarding the company will help the guys currently trying to enter the data science field because we just don't like as a data scientist you just don't have to write the code you, obviously as we discussed before you have to make a story and you should be good at storytelling and uh, letting them know how can they use a data scientist in the company okay okay so someone if they are having the maths phobia okay like they are not good at statistics or maths yes how can they manage to enter the domain that i will not know because uh, from my 10th standard i was very good at maths and i liked maths so maybe that is the reason it was easy for me because i knew maths already if someone doesn't know maths then like i have no idea or no experience regarding that right so uh, here you have mentioned that till 10th you were very good at maths yeah. that means statistics and maths which is there in uh, which is involved as a data analyst role that is still 10th only right uh no like probability and uh, many things like normal distribution and uh, different type of distribution that i learned in my bachelors okay maths, so basic maths is required like probability in, yeah, probability i see it is there in 10th and 12th also i yeah, see it is there it is there yeah so it's a basic right basic not... maths yes linear algebra probability very basic things but okay. clear concepts yeah okay okay so that means it basics of mathematics are clear which you have studied till 10th or 12th yeah then you can enter the domain yes 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 right because see in uh, in your graduation whatever you study that is advanced level yeah right fine 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 so even someone having the less knowledge in maths can enter the domain because see i see so many people they have fear right yes, yes. yeah and uh, Yeah, people do switch to data science. Even in my team, there is one uh, colleague who has switched from mechanical engineering to data science. So you just have to learn, upskill yourself. You can obviously you can switch. Right, right. So what else you would like to suggest to someone who is preparing for or trying to enter the domain? I guess uh, I have already suggested some things, and I myself I am uh, like it's just been two years, I have, so I'm not that experienced to suggest suggest good things to others. But I'll just say uh, learn very basic things that are required as a data scientist: Python, statistics, and uh, keep uh, keep your concepts clear and stay updated in from the market. Like there are many things coming every day. Stay updated. That is very important if you are updated. You are you are you are ahead of so many people who are come come cu currently freshers, but you are having two years of experience. So definitely you can suggest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So there are so many people. You know, there is a very large uh, sum of people. You can say they are preparing still for the data science, data analytics role, but uh, still they are not uh, in a position to clear the job or something. You are definitely far behind, far uh, away from them, right? And well qualified to answer their queries. Fine, ठीक है. So you are from which place, Arju? Delhi. Delhi. Okay. So you are you are uh, you are native itself in Delhi, or you have? Uh... I have done my bachelor's from Delhi, but uh, uh, like uh, my schooling was done in Rohtak, Haryana. Haryana. Okay. Yeah. Okay. ठीक है, ठीक है. Fine, you have uh, shared a lot of information with us. I hope it would be helpful for someone. Definitely, definitely. Yeah.